So here we actually have a trailer that we built the interior for. So um, it was, it's a gooseneck and it was already, it already had some living space in it. It was designed as just a cargo trailer. Um, and about 20 years ago, they had some, an interior built into it and there were some things that didn't work and they um, wanted some extra things put in it. So he brought it to us and we gutted it and started over from scratch. So it does have some pretty tall ceilings and they're flat, but um, he wanted a few things done specifically but we were dealing with windows that were already in and some wheel wells that were already in. And so we had a little bit of hindrances, I guess, that we had to work through. Um, so he actually had, he had a little bit of a uh, garage on the back. So we fixed that to give him a longer living space but uh, it turned out pretty neat. Um, he did want uh, a bathroom here at the front and he wanted more of a triangle bathroom. So the bathroom turned out really, really nice. There were some issues with it, trying to get it, you know, the fresh tank and mostly the waste tanks to fit in get all that taken care of where when we build brand new we don't have to worry about that um, we build it all in beforehand we had a few different layouts for here but as we were building this is what we came up with but um, it's got some good storage in it it does have the good tall ceilings which are pretty cool um, storage under here, a little bit of a false wall back there. Um, the shower is a corner shower, which is nice and roomy. Um, got a nice room in here. The toilet, I was worried about the toilet not having enough room, but it's got plenty of room. It's actually got a lot of room in that bathroom. It turned out really nice. It's got a lot of our regular building components in it. Everything was built really similar, but we did have to do some angles and things to get this bathroom to work. But it's really neat. Um, and then he wanted a little bit of a seat here. So if it's just him, he can actually just sit here Maybe have a little table right at the front door. He wanted his wood box in the seat. Um, that's where he'd had it before and he liked that. So a lot of space there for wood. But then this is also the step up into the gooseneck. So he's got a queen bed up in here. Um, little headboard there. And he's got a nice side headboard and these are all things that he's kind of came up with that he wanted turned out really nice um, i actually quite like the way this all turned out pretty excited for him um, he's gonna use it on a hunt here pretty quick so hopefully he's able to come tomorrow he's been super busy with things so we do have our door here uh, it's his wood stove. We've had to redo, well, we repainted it for him. Um, had to redo kind of the chimney or the stove pipe where it was going out. We didn't want to, we had to kind of work around some things that were already built. He does have another storage or wood box here. Um, he does have a catalytic heater, no furnace, but then he's got his oven and a small fridge here and his gas light. And then this window was already here. And so we do have a curtain that goes all the way over the window, but we will have him kind of 
move that out of the way when he's using his, mostly his wood stove, but also this oven, which this oven's pretty cool. It will actually help a little bit with that. Some good counter space. And then this dinette will drop down to a bed. It's a little narrower. I think it's about 30, 32 inches wide, but he can sleep someone there. And then one of the cool things that he did is he's got bunks. Um, we didn't want to waste too much space. And so um, if you had four sleeping on this, their heads would be down in this area and then heads here and then their feet would kind of meet in the middle. And so maybe they have a little, little war for their feet, but a lot of space here. They can sit people there. Um, then we did have another window to deal with right here. And so we've got this closet that they can still do quite a few things with. It's actually really deep. You could get a lot of storage in there depending on what you needed to do. And then you do have some room up top that you could put something if you wanted. And then we've got the pantry. It's actually nice and deep too that you can get a lot of storage, a lot of things in. And then this kitchen turned out really nice. It's kind of sectioned off by a couple walls, so it gives it its own unique space. Um, but we did have wheel wheels that we had to deal with, and so you can see some of the wheel wheels in here, but you can still use everything. Got you a couple drawers, some storage even above the upper cabinet because the ceilings are so tall in here, but then some storage in that in that cabinet, overhead cabinet, and it's a deep cabinet, so it'll get a lot of storage up there. Maybe just another look here. He liked the Kensington maple color. It does look, it, it looks really nice. Um, we did put our flooring in, um, added to the walls. Another thing that we had to do is he had a, a ramp back here, you know, the garage door deck type unit. So we had to build a new wall back here. So the egress window there is recessed in and it actually gives them a little lip to put a couple things, but that turned out really nice. Had to insulate a little bit more in some of the walls. Go through and, and fix the ceiling a bit. But it, it turned out super nice. Um, so we hope he's able to come and get it and have a little bit of time off work and, and things and go out and get using it and get some good hunts in. So we hope you like it too.